Hey there, welcome to my curls. I'm in my home office right now and I'm doing this video for two reasons. The last couple videos I've put up this summer, I have had my hair pulled back in a ponytail. And I just wanted to show you how different my silvers look when I actually have my hair down. So I'll, it's been almost 11 months since I made the decision to stop coloring my hair. And I thought I would just kind of show you around my hairdo and let you see the crazy that's going on right now. And after I do that, I wanted to kind of share with you something sweet that my husband did for me. So stay tuned. In October of 2018, I made the decision to stop coloring my hair. I was over it ready to go silver so I just kind of went cold turkey so I've been sharing with you along the way kind of the things that have happened the strange things that have gone on things I didn't expect like the different looks and so here I am so you've been seeing my hair up in a ponytail for the past couple of videos it is now early September so I'm almost I guess at that you know 10 11 month point and I wanted to do the video today to just show you how differently I look and how different my silver hair appears when I have my hair down and fixed versus back in a ponytail because in the other videos or at least to me when I was watching myself on the videos I just saw this full head of silver I saw nothing but the silver and a little bit of my natural black color coming through but when my hair is down you can, I mean, I'm really getting, at the, you know, the huge line right there, but you really don't see any silver over here because I have so much hair and so much curly hair and that the dark is hanging on to the ends pretty good. So when my hair's down, it really covers so much of the gray over there. But watch this when I turn around. Look at all this. Yeah, I am half and half from the back. And if I pull my hair up, you can see I'm, I'm almost, I would call it halfway at this point. So I'm going to pull this back and kind of show you all what it looks like. So, yeah. I would call that half grown out, I think. So it's taken 10, 11 months for me to get to this point. So I guess by the fall of next year or winter of 2020 for sure, I should be completely done with this process. So about two years. And a funny, funny thing that happened a couple weeks ago, I was drying my hair and I used this funny little diffuser. I've um, talked about it in some other videos, but it is a hair dryer diffuser combination that I absolutely love because of my curly hair. And I had my head upside down drying my hair. Somehow two big sections this one and another one got sucked up into the bottom of my hair dryer and I could not get my hair out and I had to get these little um, the Swiss Army knife that I've actually shown to you all in another video I had to get that out of the drawer and cut my hair loose to get free from my hair dryer so I have two big chunks of curls over here that the colored hair is is gone I had to cut it out so there's that <laughs> but anyway yeah I mean I do look so much different when my hair is down and hopefully in the next video I love to pull my hair half up half down or have this part back and the rest down so I'll do some videos so you can see right now where I am in my transition what it looks like when I do different hairstyles so if you're really wanting to show your silvers or trying to hide your silvers or whatever the process is for you you can see what it looks like on me and kind of, you know, decide what you want to do for your hairstyle that day. Oh, and hey, tidbit. My last video that I posted, I talked about um, this new scoop neck bralette that I found at Victoria's Secret. And I have it on today, so I'm just going to give you another view of the bralette um, because I'm super excited about it. I have on the nude color. And in this top that I'm wearing, this is almost like a burnout shirt. You can kind of see through it, but I love orange in the summertime. I just think orange looks so good on me. I love the vibrant color. So I'm wearing this orange little t-shirt today, but 
I wanted you to see what the bralette looks like. So I'm good and, and I feel like I have a bra on, but I'm super comfortable. I do not have on an underwire bra. You can see that everything is smooth. I don't have any of the bulges or anything going on that I would if I had on a normal bra. You can kind of, you can see the line of the bralette right here and it's just because this shirt is so super thin, like a burnout shirt. But I'm loving the bralette, y'all. If you haven't got one yet from Victoria's Secret and you're tired of an underwire bra, order yourself one. $19.50. <laughs> But the other reason I wanted to do this video, I'm in my home office and you can't really see anything um, at this point, but I wanted to share with you something my husband did for me. He's such a sweet guy and I really, he's not made his debut in my videos yet other than kind of walking in and out, but we've been married for 18 years and we have always been the kind of couple that gives each other gifts. Doesn't matter what the occasion, if it's birthdays, Christmas, anniversaries, he gives me a gift and I give him a gift. And it's not because we have to, it's because we want to. So he is really, really good at just listening to things I say or things I might be looking at or talking about. And he just makes a little note and then one day they will show up. He'll just give me a little gift. He's an excellent gift giver. And he bought something for me. Um, that I have in my office and I wanted to show it to you. So hold on, let me get a different view of my phone. Okay, so here I am, I'm in my home office and I think I've shown this to you all before. Um, I just have my like organization center and my computer center and you know, office stuff, your typical office stuff. But this is what you did not see. All right, y'all, so I have let me do this here. I have always had a 13 inch MacBook. I'm an Apple products gal. I love Apple products, but I just had a 13 inch MacBook. So when I would um, do my work, I would come up to my office and work on the MacBook. And when I started doing YouTube videos, if you have never edited videos in, I use iMovie, you cannot blow up iMovie. It's just super small, so the editing was really hard for me to do because I'm on a 13-inch monitor, and I would have to put on my glasses to just avoid eye strain. So my husband, I came home one day, and he had got me this. Oh, look at that. I have a 27-inch monitor and a Bluetooth keyboard that now sits on my desk and I hook up my MacBook to the monitor and it mirrors everything on the monitor so I can edit and do everything I need and see it so well. It's wonderful. So he is so good at just listening and when he was talking to me about why haven't I put up any YouTube videos lately, I just, th this is one of the reasons. it. Ooh, I got a light right behind me. It was so hard for me to edit everything on a 13 inch monitor. It is just so difficult in iMovie. And um, so yeah, he surprised me one day with this awesome monitor and keyboard. And because um, I left my office job of 23 years, I've been gone a year and a half now, and I did a video talking about that, which you can, um, I'll link it if you want to see that. But because I now run our two businesses from our house, I do payroll and I keep all the books and I do everything here. Um, this little keyboard, which has the number pad on it, is a lifesaver because I am horrible typing when I have to use the numbers up at the top of the, the letter board because being an office person, I can do where is it? I can do the number pad like so fast. And so he got me the keyboard so I don't have my, my number pad, I have my mouse, I have my awesome, it's a 27 inch curved monitor. So I'm super fancy now. I can edit and do my work so much more efficiently and I love it. So 
thank you, baby. I have the best husband, and I hope you all have people in your lives that give you gifts too, because it is so sweet to get something unexpected. So anyway, here I am, home office. Expect more YouTube videos for me and more info on the gray hair. So until next time, I'll see you later.